Hey, hello, welcome back, guys, to another HTML tutorial. Uh, this is my 18 HTML tutorial, and uh, uh, from last two tutorials, we have seen the basic HTML frame tags. Uh, we have working with the frame in the last time. What is the attribute of frame and all this stuff? So today we are going to watch something called as a frame. Uh, but uh, something different than the frame uh, which distinguish that frame rows and calls called uh, uh, attributes of the frame so whenever you are working with the frame uh, if you want something uh, structure like this that is you want to be uh, web page to be distribute in some part that is content should be display here the title should be display here and link should be display here so whenever you are working with the this type of uh, structure within the web pages you can use a frame in your web pages so how to create this web pages is easy as you have learned two tutorials of frames uh, if you do not have any idea about the frames go and watch my two tutorials which uh, we have uh, learned before this tutorial and in this tutorial uh, just a simple tutorial as you can see here that uh, we have a title here contain here and link here this three uh, spaces we have which uh, distinguish web pages than the other web pages because whenever you are working with the page it can either contain a simple web page with a single frame it can contain a two frame or multiple frame but if you want something like uh, the website title should be display here link should be display here and content should be display here so whenever you are clicking on any of the link over here it can be display over the content page over here so basically today we are going to learn how to create this all structure and in the next tutorial we are going to look forward to something which is called as a target attribute which help us to achieve a goal that is whenever you click on link of this frame it should be op not open in this uh, frame only it should be open in the content here frame okay so this is all about this tutorial uh, let's get started with this tutorial so you can see here we have a, a, a structure of a web page which contain uh, two columns which is this and before that it contain a uh, two rows that is first row means title here and this entire row is a second so whenever we are working with this kind of stuff uh, we want something like here two row we want so whenever you are working with the frame you include frame set tag that is opening and closing of frame set okay give some space here and include whatever you want content here okay now if you think then you have a two row here that is first row this that is title here and this is entire row is a big row so we want to be distribute this web page in two row first and after that the second row should be distributed in two columns that is link here is a first column and content here is a second column so let's get started just divide your page into a two separate rows so how to do that just include rows is equal to the value want so i'm giving 20 percent for title and just give comma and 80 percent for my all this content and link row okay so just go and do that 20% 80% so now what you want is that 
uh, the 20 percent content on this web page that is a title here web page and the 80 percent what you have should be divided in a uh, two columns so how to do that uh, first of all going to a uh, second row just before that continue to doing a uh, first row so whenever you are executing web page you will get idea so 20 percent i want a web page to be displayed so i am just including <coughs> a web page which has a source as title.html anything you can include and i'm just naming it as a title okay oops sorry okay so save your file uh, now for this 20 percent we have allocated the space that is a title.html name title so just go to your file where you have saved the file and just run that so whenever you are running the file it will execute the same that is website name this page is i have created in a title.html so just go and create a simple html page i'm just opening the page just include here as a center h1 and include website name close h1 and close center just create a simple web page i have created this web page and include that in a source.htm okay that is a title.htm so now we have a uh, look at how to how do we allocated a space for 20 percent so for uh, 80 percent we want something like this that is it should be divided in the column so for dividing the row in a column you again have to do that is a frame set okay so whenever you include a frame set do not forget to close the frame set and in this case we are going to include in a frame set which is called as a uh, calls so why we are including calls because we want to be distribute this 80 percent column that is row sorry row means this row to be in two columns so we are just including here 20 percent comma 80 percent again why we do a 20 percent and 80 percent and calls listen 80 percent is a row that is we have a bold row here so now whenever you include 80 percent it will allocate all the area now in this 80 percent we are doing something 20 percent and 80 percent means we are dividing that row into a one column and this is a second column okay and in that case we want something like 20 percent should be allocated to the link.html and 80 percent should be allocated to content.html so i'm just including here as frame src is equal to i just created a link.html page go and create your page as per your requirement and include the name anything whatever you want and just giving it as a link okay and this is for a part which is a 20 percent for 80 percent now we are going to again type as a frame src is equal to oops sorry frame src and type here as content dot html i have created that page before you can create your own page with your own name or anything else okay so just have completed that page so what is the meaning of that this is a whole frame set in that i have created something a row which is a 20 percent and 80 percent which will divide a title here and all a row that is a this whole row which can includes a content here and link here all 
now what we do is that 20% allocate to the uh, title.html that is this and for this 80% we have defined that 80% in two columns that is 20% which is links and 80% which is a content here so 20% we have include our link.html and for 80% we have include a content.html okay so after uh, doing this all just go and refresh your file so here we have so whenever you are include something like this that is a 20% this is whole a uh, 80% and in this 80% we are including this is as 20% and this is at 80% okay so here we have so go and create your three page i have created a three page that is a uh, link dot html that is if you go um, i'm just showing this that is how to create link html so when you want to create a link dot html i'm just creating here a br tag giving a bg color for and uh, just typing here link that is available links and just including three links that is i have uh, learn I have teach you something which is called as a a tag just create a link for this so just three links that is course available about us and contact us that is this course available about us and contact us okay and what we have another is that content.stm which is this page the source code of this page is that I just included a H1 that is a welcome to our college and in paragraph tag I just included something information okay so go and create your pages that is content.html link.html and title.html and after saving this file and after linking this file to uh, frames you will get something like this web page so this is how you can work with the HTML frames. Uh, in the next tutorial, we are going to see something which is called as a target tag, which allows you to uh, execute something a task. Which whenever you click on any link, it will be executed in which uh, frame and something like that. Okay, so thank you for watching, guys. Welcome back. Uh, again to another tutorial and do not forget to subscribe my channel and goodbye welcome back